Mowing your lawn is a huge pain. You either have to spend your entire weekend pushing a lawnmower around your yard, or you have to spend a lot of money to get somebody to come and do it for you. The alternative, of course, is a robot lawnmower. Nope, not that kind of robot lawnmower. This kind of robot lawnmower. If you've ever used a robotic vacuum or seen one of them, robot lawnmowers work essentially the same way. You set them up, you let them start, you sit back, and you relax while they do all the work. But if you're thinking about a robot lawnmower, you're probably dreading a painful setup process and a huge amount of money. So this is the Ecovax GOAT A2500 RTK, which is a robot lawnmower that surprised me with how easy it was to install, and how well it performs, and also how little noise it makes while it's working. As a disclaimer, this is a sponsored post, but I only do sponsored posts for products I have tried tried out, products that I like, and products that I would buy myself. I tested a much more expensive system before, and that one took me about five hours to install. It was actually such a complicated setup process that I didn't even finish the review. So compare that to the GOAT A2500, which took me around 30 minutes from unboxing to full setup. That is a massive improvement over five to six hours, and frankly, it's a huge relief for anyone who doesn't want to feel like a backyard engineer just to cut their grass. Okay, so RTK. For anyone who's new to this, RTK stands for Real-Time Kinematics Processing. It's a satellite assisted navigation system that lets the mower figure out its exact position within your yard down to a couple of centimeters. Which means it can do a lot of things with automation that didn't used to be possible. And unlike the other brand that I tested, the Ecovacs RTK antenna connects easily via one cable, no ethernet cable running through your flower beds, the unit just connects to your charging station, which is connected to power, and you're good to go. The GOAT uses an RTK plus LiDAR system. So this is a combination of onboard LiDAR, which is a laser-based radar, and the RTK system. So the mower moves in a clean, logical path with excellent accuracy. Even in the slightly uneven parts of my lawn, it stuck to the edges and worked through the map without a hitch. One really great feature here is True Edge Mowing. This lets the mower follow the edge of your lawn with centimeter level accuracy, so you're not left with awkward border strips or things that you have to go back and take care of with a weed trimmer. It will also mow right up against things like sidewalks, fences, and other landscaping elements. Not surprisingly, it feels just like setting up one of Ecovac's robot vacuums. You make a map, let it run, and it just works. Even setting up the no-go zones for flower beds or playground areas was straightforward. Personally, I used a combination of auto mapping and manual mapping during the setup. See, the auto map feature did a great job, but I've got some small bushes that hang over the yard edge. So I used the manual mode to avoid these sections because later in the season, those bushes are gonna hang out lower and it's gonna hit the lawnmower. So what happens if you've got multiple parts to your lawn? Say that you have a backyard and a front yard, or you have a front yard and a side yard, what do you do? There's two ways to handle it. For me, I have a backyard and then there's a planter wall and then there's another little bit of yard right next to my driveway. So I just set up the backyard as one area and then that little strip of yard I set up as a second area and I made a path that runs between the two of them. And making a path is just a matter of starting the lawnmower in one point and driving it to another and it makes the path for you. So in my case, I can pick the backyard, or I can pick that little side area of my yard next to the driveway, or I can have it do both of them. I used to have a big tree in the back of my yard, and that fell over years ago, and we filled that back in, but it's a really uneven surface, and it has a couple of holes in there where the ground has sunk over time. Since the mower would get stuck on those holes, I simply programmed it to not go to that area, and there's no problem. One of my favorite features is what they call the AIVI 3D obstacle avoidance. So my son and his friends tend to leave things around the yard and the mower handled it like a pro. It steered around the toys, sports gear, and even some outdoor furniture without needing my intervention. If you have hills or bumps in your yard, this isn't just for flat ground. It handles hills impressively too. My yard has a few slopes and the goat climbed them with no issue. Okay, so let's talk about the actual mowing power. The A2500 uses a 32 volt, which is very powerful, dual blade disc system that can cut up to 400 square meters in an hour. You can adjust the blades from 1.2 to 3.6 inches so you can cut as much as you want and the results are really clean, especially for something this quiet. I mean, it is silent. It was so quiet at first I couldn't even tell it was working. The low noise is one of its best features. That other robotic mower that I tested was easily as loud as a regular electric mower. The goat? Quiet enough that it could be an actual goat. So who's this for? Busy homeowners? That's for sure. Tech enthusiasts? Sure. But really, anyone who wants to stop spending their whole weekends pushing around a lawnmower, this is for them. All right, so let's say that you mow every other week from April through October. That's about 14 mowings a year. An hour each, that's 14 hours you're getting back every single year. If you mow more frequently, you get back even more time. If you're paying somebody to mow the lawn, this thing pays back really quickly. And since it's a robot, it'll even work in the rain. And I don't know about you, but I'm not going out in this weather to mow my lawn. Okay, so now let me do the real world pros and cons. It's got what they call a 32 volt energetic platform with a speedy dual blade disc. That means that it's really powerful, won't get stuck on your yard, it can go up hills, and it cuts really, really well. 
it is ridiculously easy to set up. Thanks to the RTK system, it is able to do incredibly accurate navigation. The True Edge mowing delivers really clean edges, which is one of the problems with most robot lawnmowers. And it is as easy to use as their robot vacuums. All right, so what are the cons? I had to bring a Wi-Fi router closer to the mower zone. It just couldn't quite get the signal from my house to where the mower was. My unit came with a shorter power cord, but Ecovacs has since updated the production to include a 10 meter cable in all of the new models, which solves this issue. But really those cons are really minor and easy to address. Everything else, it was smooth sailing. If you've been on the fence about a robot mower, the Ecovacs GOAT A2500 RTK is an easy recommendation. It's smart, it's quiet, it works right out of the box, and it is genuinely useful. Setup is easy, the day-to-day -day usage is completely hands-off, and the mowing looks great. And just like Ecovacs vacuum cleaners, when the system is done doing its job, it just goes back to the dock and waits for you. I'm especially stoked about how much of my life this thing gives me back. Okay, so if you're watching this video, you probably don't have a robotic lawnmower. You're probably either pushing a lawnmower across your yard yourself or paying someone to do it for you. So what I'd like to know is why you are looking for a robot lawnmower. Are you looking to save time? Are you looking to save money? Are you looking to save both of those things? Or are you just a tech geek who really likes cool things like robot lawnmowers? Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this, and if you have any questions about the lawnmower and its operation, you can ask those in the comments and I will get back to you. So, for Dave Tries This, I'm David Schloss, and as always, thanks so much for giving this a try.